Hey guys, Gary Dean, DetailJuice.com. I'm going to shoot this very special video today. It's a video that I shot once several years ago, but I wanted to really update you and show you exactly what I'm talking about because some people seem to be still a little bit confused about the Gary Dean wash method, but a traditional way. So, uh, traditionally washing with regular soap and water and all of that. Uh, but it is absolutely, just like the Gary Dean wash method, rinseless method, the Gary Dean wash method, traditional method, is the absolute safest way to wash your car uh, without installing unnecessary swirl marks and scratches. So, with that said, I'm gonna pull you off that tripod, show you exactly what I'm going to do and, and the prep for this situation, uh, and then I'm gonna show you how to execute it. All right, I'm gonna give you a little bit of, uh, I'm gonna show you the situation. So I've got a gallon of water in this bucket. I have an extra bucket just to throw my towels I'll discard into. Now, I like to use regular microfiber towels for the rinseless Gary Dean wash method and for the traditional Gary Dean wash method. Uh, I don't feel like the nap of the microfiber has a whole lot to do with uh, swirls or scratches. I mean, bottom line is if you got dirt and debris in the towel, whether it's a thick nap or a thin nap, most of that stuff's sitting on the outside anyway. I don't think it matters. That's just my real world experience opinion. Uh, as you can see, I've got some The Perfect Soap, which has been around for years and people love it. It's highly concentrated. Uh, one quarter of an ounce or one full cap full is all you need for one wash. If you're using more than that, you're definitely overusing. Now I use a gallon of water. Saving water is important to me. Uh, it's important to me to, you know, be as uh, thrifty on the environment as I can while also being as thrifty on the safety of the user uh, of my products as I can. You'll notice I also have some Evo shampoo uh, that's not as con concentrated as the Perfect Soap. Very similar qualities as far as lubricity um, and as far as cleaning power. But with the Evo shampoo, this is literally the evolution of soap. Uh, this actually has the acrylic in it that my Infinite Force Field coating has um, so it will leave behind a good solid quality uh, layer of protection as a standalone uh, protective product as well as maintaining the infinite force field and force field pro depending on what product you have on your vehicle so i'm going to actually use evo shampoo today this is my 2016 f-150 uh, i'm going to use the evo shampoo because i have infinite force field on the truck and uh, I'm going to be adding a layer of protection, like I said, with the additional acrylic that's in the Evo shampoo. So I like to wash my truck with Evo shampoo. Um, as you'll notice, I have a uh, bunch of towels. I did clean that area before I sat the towels there. I'm not a swirl Nazi. It doesn't bother me anyway. But you'll notice I have either six or seven green towels for the washing. I have a wheel towel. And I also have the Gary Dean Wash Method 16 by 24 waffle weave towel. However, I'm going to use deionized water. I'll get to that in a second. This is the Eco Rinse Machine. Uh, this is a pretty awesome machine. Uh, it is a machine that I developed with AR North America, a pressure washer company. Uh, and we built these units. Uh, and I specifically designed the unit to be as eco-friendly and efficient on a pro detailer or even someone who uh, is a weekend warrior or even in the, an enthusiast who wants the best quality materials uh, and wants to be as eco-friendly as possible. This particular unit draws 6.3 amps, which is about one third of what most consumer grade pressure washers uh, will draw which means it's easier on your generator if you're a detailer. Um, it's easier on size. It's very small. It weighs 49 pounds. Uh, very portable unit. Uh, it does not come with this cart. You can get that unit at DetailJuice.com. They ship direct from AR North America uh, in Minnesota, Minnesota, I believe. Uh, so you purchase from me. I am the middleman. You can't get this anywhere else. I have an exclusive deal with them. 
uh, but those are on detailjuice.com. Uh, you'll notice uh, it is a uh, motor and a pump and then all of the other plumbing that needs to happen uh, with a pressure washer situation. Uh, draw 6.3 amps. Uh, it outputs a half of a gallon per minute, which is pretty amazing, uh, but it also does that half of a gallon per minute uh, at 1100 PSI, which is pretty cool. It's got a little gauge there, your pressure regulator, um, input, output, that kind of thing. Very simple unit. Uh, it does have a GFCI, a, uh, basically a breaker on the plug. So you'll plug it in, uh, and I'm showing you this on purpose. I want to show you how to run this eco rinse machine. Uh, I have a deionized water set up from All Florida Water. You can contact them if you'd like more information on their services. But coming off of my spigot into the tanks and then out to the eco rinse machine. Now, if you'll notice out front, I have the eco, eco rinse machine hooked up to this hose. So I turn the water on and I just let it run out of that top, out of the, um, the exit, okay? So now the pump is all primed and ready to go. There's no air in the pump or anything like that. It's literally just shooting water out. Now, if you leave this thing hooked up all the time, you'll never have this issue. And I ran, look at this, that's funny. I actually ran the hose here the wrong way. Ugh. My quick disconnects here. We'll go ahead and run this and connect it here. There we go. Got a little bit of water on the camera. Sorry about that. Should be good to go, I hope. All right, so I primed the pump. You saw the water coming out of there. Then I hooked up the hose. You can see that it's flowing freely. Now, if you leave it hooked up all the time, you never have to do these steps. This is the wand. I'm going to sit you down here and I'm going to attempt to just show you connect it there spray a little bit get all the air out of the line when it stops making that noise like there's air coming out you should be good to go it's still got a little bit of air in the line now once everything is primed you want to charge the line. And what I mean by that is, flip the switch, to turn it on. The line is charged. A little bit of air left. Full pressure. No air left in the line. You're good to go. Now, that gauge reads 1100 PSI, hold on, it's still getting to where it needs to be. There you go, you can see 1100 PSI all day long. All right, so, the way we're gonna start this is, I'll put you back on the tripod. Should be able to see me pretty good. Eco rinse machine is running. Like I said, I'm going to be using the uh, Evo shampoo. Make sure I have. Nope, the bucket's not in the frame. There we go. So I'm going to be using the uh, Evo shampoo right here. One ounce per the gallon. So I'm just gonna wing it about an ounce. Now, take your towels 
all your towels. So you pre-soak them in the bucket. Even the uh, wheel towel. Pre-soak them in the bucket. Charge the soap. All right, good to go. Now, your pre-rinse, instead of using the Infinite Use Detail Juice, which you would do in the Gary Dean Wash Method rinseless version, Notice very little water runoff. Now, take one of your pre soaked towels. I go from top to bottom. You can absolutely fold your towels up if you want to, just like in the regular rinseless version. Top to bottom. I use two sides on this door. Yeah, I'm still wash washing my truck um, using the uh, Evo shampoo. Uh, I didn't give you an opportunity to see how it suds and how it works in the first portion of the video. Uh, I was focused on just you know doing the demonstration for you on this side, but. Um, you can see it's highly sudsy and uh, when you shoot it with water to shock it a little bit to fluff it up it works really well you can see the suds on the truck um, again I was focused more on demonstrating the process and far less on demonstrating the product which is why uh, it looked like there weren't any suds uh, clearly there's plenty of suds flip it over to a clean side you can start from top to bottom on there too. There we go. Now, the benefit to this situation, all that dirt that just came off those two panels, that'll never go back on the vehicle ever because this dirty towel will never go back into that wash bucket. The benefit to that over the two bucket method is that with the two bucket method, you're hoping to rinse it as much as you can and then not put that dirt back in the wash bucket. But not all of that dirt comes off in the rinse bucket. So you are absolutely, without question, transferring some of that dirt that came off the car back onto the car with your two bucket method. So I'll discard this, I'll throw it in that other bucket, get my eco rinse machine back out. Rinse the panel off. With the Eco Rinse Machine, I can get this whole truck rinsed, washed, and then rinsed. That's the wash bucket water included with four gallons of water, actually less than that. And that includes the wheels and everything. Eco Rinse Machine is a very eco way to wash your vehicle. Uh, very little water runoff, saves water, saves gas, saves weight, saves space. It's an amazing machine. So anyway, that's how you would traditionally wash a vehicle with the Gary Dean wash method, the traditional method. Now we'll just do it again. Take a uh, pre-soaked towel out of the bucket. Top to bottom. You never want to over rub because you're just potentially scratching the paint. I like to go every, over everything very thoroughly from top to bottom. And that's it. 
this towel that just came off of the paint will never see that paint again until it gets washed. Wring it out, discard it, and you're done. Keep pulling clean towels out. Now, some of you guys, Some of you guys will complain, oh, I don't want to do, I don't want to waste so many towels. I don't want to wash so many towels. If you go back to my YouTube channel, and you look through, I did a, a couple of comparisons between uh, just normal using towels, washing towels, and then the Gary Dean wash method, using towels and washing towels. You're maybe going to use one to two extra gallons to wash the extra towels. That doesn't compare to all of the extra water that you'll use via a traditional method in general. But beyond that, you're, you're only using a couple of extra gallons washing these towels. It's not like it's the end of the world. And it's more efficient on your car. It's more efficient for you. It's, it's better for the car to do the traditional uh, Gary Dean wash method. It's just better. That's the bottom line. If you want the best possible way to wash your car while not installing any additional or more than just general washing would allow or prevent, then you want to do the Gary Dean wash method with the traditional method. Um, do it yourself at home. Compare this way that I just showed you to your own two bucket method way and I'm sure you'll find that this is far superior not only in efficiency but also in the end result on your vehicle. If you're not reintroducing that dirt that came off the car back onto the car you are definitely taking all that dirt out of the equation as far as putting in swirl marks. That's the bottom line. So if you've got questions for me on the Gary Dean wash method, whether it's a traditional wash method like this, or whether it's the rinseless way that is very popular that I've had out since 2012. In fact, I think 2013, uh, I did a video on a black Mercedes with the, the perfect soap. And I explained in that video how you could do a traditional wash with some fluffier towels and all that stuff. I've since disregarded the fluffy towels. I don't feel like they're necessary. Again, I'm not a swirl Nazi. They don't bother me. Um, I can fix them. I, I get it. Uh, it's really not difficult for you to fix them either. But you always want to do what you can to uh, ensure that you're not putting more in that you, than you have to. So that's kind of where we're at. That was the whole point of this video is to show you the Eco Rinse Machine being more efficient on water and the Gary Dean wash method traditional way uh, being more efficient on not putting swirls on the paint and also being more efficient on the environment by using less water for the wash versus you know two to three gallons in the wash bucket two to three gallons in the rinse, rinse bucket and all the rinse water before and after and all that it gets complicated I want to simplify everything and that's where we're at so this has been the Gary Dean wash method traditional way if you got questions for me, 813-846-4406. That's my cell phone number. If I, if you don't use the number, I can't help you. That's the bottom line. Check out Gary Dean's Detail Juice Nation. It's a group on Facebook where we talk about my products, my processes, and what I've got going on. Thank you guys for watching all my videos and your trust and support. I truly appreciate you. Uh, let me know if I can help you. Have a wonderful day. Hey guys, I just wanted to add real quick because I know I'm going to get these questions. Once I wash a car with deionized water, once I've rinsed, washed, and then rinsed again and made sure that none of the cracks and crevices have any soap in them, um, I literally, because deionized water is the cleanest water that you can get, uh, I, I don't bother drying it off. I let the sun dry it as best it can. Uh, in some cases, uh, you'll need to go back and just wipe off the residual water or maybe you want to because you're going to use a detail spray or maybe you're going to put some protection on or maybe you have to clay um, whatever the situation is i usually let the paint dry with deionized water on it uh, and that's the point really so that you don't have water spots so 
I'll just go from uh, rinse, wash, rinse to let it dry and then I'll go back and do whatever I need to do on it. In fact, after I wash a car while it's driving, drying, I usually will jump on the interior, clean up the interior while the exterior dries and then jump on the exterior for the rest of whatever detail I'm doing. So just keep all that in mind. If you got questions, let me know. Thanks for watching guys. Have a great day.